This is Good Morning Suncoast. We're here for you. Good morning, everyone. It's 6 o'clock, and I'm Don Brennan, along with John Scalzi, and tourism definitely seemed to be booming this weekend. We had oh, sand man. sculpting and boat racing, and people were out in full yeah, force. all kinds of stuff going on, and uh, the weather cooperated beautifully for it, too, as well. Yeah. You know, there's no issues, really, whatsoever. In fact, for the boat races, I think it might have even made it a little more thrilling. Oh, yeah. You know, some of those swells out there yeah, were pretty good Yeah, six to eight-foot swells, Yes, said? sir. Wow. Yep, that's right. And uh, for today, I think we'll start to see the winds decrease a little bit, which is actually kind of a good thing because uh, the temperatures are kind of brisk out there right now. We get a wind chill factor all of a sudden. Well, yeah. In uh, inland areas, we have temperatures in the 40s now. So as, with, as those winds die out and the daytime warms up, it'll look better. Forecast for today calls for 50-degree temperature with a dew point very low in the, in the uh, upper 20s. Boy, you haven't seen that since last winter. Upper 20 dew points. That's something. Uh, be nice this weekend, and this weekend too, and uh, for Thanksgiving as well. We'll talk all about that coming up in a few. Thank you, John. Taking a look at the roadways. So far, so good. Volume is picking up. You see on uh, 301 as you pass State Road 70 headed northbound, but it's not out of the norm right now. Everything else is looking good. As I said, Thanksgiving week, a lot of people have already gone on vacation. Some kids are out of school, so traffic might be a little less uh, worrisome this week. But uh, right now, everything is uh, looking good all the way from North Manatee County to South Sarasota County. In our top story this morning, Sunday was a bloody day for police in three different states. One officer shot and killed in Texas, two more officers shot in Missouri, and another officer hospitalized after shooting in South Florida. There's no indication the incidents are connected, but Reed Binion has this story. Most families will be celebrating the holidays. SAPD will be burying one of its own. San Antonio Police Chief William McManus briefing the press after what authorities describe as the targeted deadly shooting of an officer Sunday. It's everyone's worst nightmare. We never want to see anything like this happen. Police say 50-year-old Detective Benjamin Marconi was killed in his patrol car outside police headquarters. He had just returned to his vehicle to write a ticket for a driver he pulled over when another driver pulled up behind him, got out, and approached the detective's window. The assailant then shot Marconi in the head, reached through the window, and shot a second time, then fled the scene in what police believe was a black sedan. In St. Louis, another officer shot Sunday in what authorities are calling a targeted attack. The 46-year-old sergeant ambushed when police say a vehicle pulled up next to his marked car and opened fire. This officer was not involved in a traffic stop. This officer was not trying to pull this car over. The officer was shot twice in the head but is expected to survive. Police say that the suspect was later killed after again shooting at officers. Also in Missouri, an officer shot in Gladstone near Kansas City. The governor asking for prayers for that officer. And in Florida, yet another shooting. The officer hospitalized after being shot during a traffic stop. The suspect taken into custody after an exchange of gunfire with police. I'm Reed Binion reporting. In other news, a follow-up this morning in the shooting death of a Punta Gorda woman during a police citizen training event. The state attorney's office says it's taking its time in reviewing the death of 73-year-old Mary Knowlton. Knowlton was killed while taking part in a police training exercise back in August. The officer who shot her is on paid administrative leave, and her family has approved a $2.6 million settlement. The case was investigated by the Florida Department of Law Enforcement and then turned over to the state for review. The state attorney says he will let the facts and evidence dictate whether or not charges will be filed. Also in Northport, charges are pending against two minors who shot BB guns outside of a home. It happened on the 4800 block of Areton Road. Police say one of the minors was hit in the head by a pellet. The victim was transported to All Children's Hospital by Bay Flight. He was treated and released shortly thereafter. And this weekend, the issue of community policing was brought to the streets of downtown Bradenton. These racist cops have got to go! Dozens of people, both black and white, taking a stand this past Saturday for what they're calling racist policing. Data recently uncovered by the Manatee County NAACP shows 50% of people shot by Bradenton police are black, although African Americans only make up 16% of the city's population. I think that it's a sham. I think it's a shame. I think that, unfortunately, you have some misguided people who are being manipulated. All of the stuff that I've seen like on the internet or just in the past before I was born, it like makes me mad that I didn't know about it. And so I feel like I, I'm obligated to do something about it because these are my people. According to Facebook, more than 100 protesters came out to that event. 
And new this morning, a case decided earlier this year in favor of a Sarasota City Commissioner concerning the Sunshine Law will be appealed. According to the Herald Tribune, the Public Records Advocacy Group called Citizens for Sunshine has appealed the judge's ruling of Commissioner Susan Chapman. The appeal clears Chapman of any of breaking any Sunshine Law violations for a private meeting she and another commissioner attended more than three years ago. The controversial meeting took place in 2013 among downtown Sarasota business owners to address the homelessness issue. And also new this morning, the city of Northport has three new commissioners. The induction ceremony took place this past weekend at City Hall. Linda Yates locked in the new mayor's spot with a unanimous vote and nomination. And Vanessa Carasone was nominated as vice mayor. Four retiring commissioners were also honored, including former mayor Jacqueline Moore, who was presented with a gavel that she first used as mayor. And in today's special series of Suncoast 2037, we take a look at the future of equality among the LGBT community here on the Suncoast. This past weekend, the nonprofit organization Equality Florida hosted its annual fundraiser. The nonprofit works to promote equality and justice for those who are gay, bisexual, and transgender. The group got together yesterday at Michael's on East, and although there has been more acceptance of LGBT rights, people we spoke to believe we still have a long way to go. Uh, in 20 years, I hope that what equality means for us is no child, every child that's born in, into this world will know that they are loved and valued, no matter what family they're born into, no matter what part of the state or country or the world that they live in. Um, and we still have a lot of work to do to make that happen. So I hope in 20 years we can say that. This was Equality Florida's ninth year of fundraising. The group hoped to raise $225,000. A three-day long sand sculpting event ended this weekend on Manatee Public Beach. The Sand Blast is a competition where beachgoers can show off their best sculpting skills in the sand. Families were able to come out to the beach and learn from master sculptors at free clinics. The annual event supports Manatee Beautiful, which is a group dedicated to litter prevention, beautification, and environmental improvement. Also, another popular event that we've already discussed a little bit, Englewood's Water Fest brought thousands of tourists to the Sun Coast, and ABC 7's Kate Flexter has a recap. One by one, boats were dropped off, picked up, and hit the water. Headed out to the course for Englewood's annual boat races. It's the excitement of watching them, you know, in the air, the thunder, the noise, it just everything about it. They're out there today with six to eight foot swells. Those boats are doing aerial ballet and it is so much fun to watch them and cheer them on. Waterfest president Ralph Young calls it the NASCAR of the water and says he's seen the sport grow in popularity. When we first started this two years ago here in Englewood, Everybody said the boat races, the boat races. What are the boat races? Nobody knew what the boat races. Now, when we say we're having the boat races in a month, well, is this boat going to be here? Is that boat going to be? They know the boats. They've already learned what the boats are. Even first grader Brandon Moody has a favorite boat. Do you have a boat that you like? Yeah, Miss Geico. The racing team of the boat's Second Amendment has seen the sport grow over the last year. The boats are getting bigger, they're getting faster, everything has changed. But they say that comes and goes depending upon the moment. It has its highs and its lows, of, uh, but right now it's, it's a pretty popular and everybody's doing pretty well. They say that's largely thanks to support from small communities like Englewood that encourage fans to get involved in the sport. Really, it took us all by, by shock. This community came out, supported the racing, as they did year in, year in and I believe this is our third year. It's, it's fabulous. And that support is tangible. Many fans saying they've never seen the event so packed and vowing to come back again next year. There's probably at least 50 to 75 percent more people here this year on the beach than there was last year. I'm a fan, I am hooked, and I will be back next year. For Young, that's what it's all about. It brings a lot of people together, it brings the whole community together, and, and it's something to talk about for the next couple of weeks now. Kate Flexter, ABC7, your Suncoast News. The West Villages in South Sarasota County is the fourth fastest growing master plan community in the country. According to the manager of the West Villages, four developments within the West Villages will generate more than 30,000 new homes within 40 to 50 years. The Venice City Council was told last week that 60% of the home sales are cash. Plans to extend West Villages Parkway as a four lane road to connect with Winchester Boulevard outside of Englewood is also underway.
New this morning, tourism bringing the Suncoast some pretty big bucks. This past year in Sarasota County, almost $3 billion has been generated from tourism. That's according to a Florida market research firm. The funds come from visitors spending money on such things as shopping, dining, entertainment, and hotel accommodations. The revenue generated more than 24,000 jobs in Sarasota County, but analysts say the biggest boost of tourism is yet to come in the 2017 World Rowing Championships at Nathan Benderson Park expected to bring thousands of international tourists from more than 70 countries. We are a worldwide destination now. Oh, yes, we are. And we're no secret either. That's why it's getting so crowded. I know. <laughs> I know. The beaches are getting really packed early. Yes. Uh, but that's okay. We have plenty of sunshine to go around, and I think everybody will benefit from that today. We'll talk about that in the forecast in just a moment. That's right. We'll share. Yeah. Coming up, while well, some people have pet dogs and cats, residents in one neighborhood are falling in love with a pet turkey. It's not long key, I guarantee you that. That bird is gobbling its way in the hearts and not the dinner plate. We'll have that story coming back. If you're trying to balance caring for your mother and being a mother to your children, we can help. It's what we do. Call Granny Nannies today. A helping hand and a gentle heart. ABC 7, your Suncoast News. We're here for you weeknights at 5. Hi, I'm Joan London, and if you're worried about your parent or a loved one living alone like I was, and you want reliable senior care information, then call A Place for Mom, the nation's largest senior living referral service. You'll get free information on assisted living, Alzheimer's care, nursing homes, even important financial information. They had obviously researched every place, not just given me names. Really? They found me a place for what she could afford, and it was magnificent. We're now very confident that she's safe and they just helped every step of the way and I can't thank them enough. So if you're struggling to find reliable senior living information, call a place for mom. This is a free service and you can trust them to help you. Call right now to get your free senior care compass ebook. Find out about the five best kept secrets on financing senior care and assisted living. Call now 800-290-0352. 800-290-0352. Whether you're a homeowner looking for a professional installation or a contractor looking for top quality products, Sarasota Glass & Mirror can meet your every need. For 42 years, Sarasota Glass & Mirror has been the area's premier supplier and installer of quality glass products for your home or business. As an authorized PGT WinGuard dealer, we know how to protect your home. With everything from the PGT WinGuard impact-resistant windows and doors to shower enclosures and decorative mirrors, the Sarasota Glass & Mirror team has the knowledge to tackle any project. Hi, I'm Chef Judy. Every Wednesday morning, I'll be with the chefs at the Publix Aprons Cooking School serving up the most wonderful dishes. Watch Aprons in the Kitchen every Wednesday on ABC 7's Good Morning Suncoast. They say good things come to those that wait. Well, you've waited long enough. You deserve to feel fabulous in your fashionable new Fiat 500X from Alfa Romeo Fiat in Sarasota. Boldly innovative, seductively stylish. Fiat gives you everything you'd expect from a capable utility vehicle, like a spacious interior and advanced safety systems, designed and built like a sexy little sportster. Don't wait any longer. You deserve to feel fabulous. Get a new Fiat at Alfa Romeo Fiat of Sarasota. For your plumbing, electrical, or air conditioning, and services is qualified, and service calls are free, and services.com, A-N-D, services. Com. My dad is my hero, and I wanted to give him a chance to live life and be happy. Granny Nannies has been a huge help. It has contributed to the health and happiness of my dad, for sure. A helping hand and a gentle heart. Now, the official Suncoast weather with ABC7 meteorologist John Scalzi. Looking at some uh, temperatures outside, they're a little, a little on the chilly side. 50 degrees the air temperature in Sarasota. Of course, most places are in the 40s, particularly inland locations. 28 degree dew point, that's very low. So you heat that air that's at uh, 
45, 46 degrees with a dew point in the 20s. And really, it feels desert-like if you bring that temperature back up to, you know, say, the mid-60s. It feels really, really dry. And that'll be the case today. Northeast wind coming in at about 6. The good news is that the wind speeds are going to die down just a little bit. So with all the sunshine that we're going to get and the warming that will take place during the day, with those lesser wind speeds, I think it'll feel pretty comfortable to a lot of folks. Uh, 42 degrees, Wachula, Arcadia, Mayaka, Parrish, Bradenton, and Lakewood Ranch comes in at 44, so is Northport, 41 degrees in Punta Gorda, and then you get closer to the coast, you got 50s in most locations, 50 from Inglewood up to Sarasota, then 54 on Longboat Key. The peninsula itself is dry as a bone, so consequently no rainfall. Go figure, no clouds, no rain, right? And that's, uh, of course, locally exactly what the radar will look like tonight at 5. You're going to see clear skies out there, and beautiful conditions. High pressure is the dominant weather feature for us behind the front that came through and brought us the chillier weekend temperatures as the winds were directed out of the north. Now with more of a northeast turn, I think eventually we'll start to see those winds shift even further and further to the east. And that will warm us up around here. We'll go from temperatures that are in the upper 60s today to temperatures that are close to the 80 degree mark just by the time we get to Thanksgiving. A low pressure area departs down east Maine, bringing snow showers, especially lake effect snow showers, to uh, New York, and then some more mountainous snows up and down east Maine. Plus, a low pressure area ejects out of the Rockies. It will eventually drag a cold front and low pressure area through the plains and then on up toward the Ohio Valley by probably the day before Thanksgiving. And that could spread some big thunderstorms along that frontal boundary, maybe even some severe weather from anywhere around the Texas region on up through Arkansas into the Ohio Valley. There'll be rain showers, snow showers above that toward the western Great Lakes. Why do I even mention that? Well, because that low pressure area will eventually be moving through here, but it will be coming through in a very weak form, nothing like the last front. It'll only lower our temperatures maybe a degree or two as we head into the weekend. Today, cool but sunny, and with lesser wind speeds, it'll make it feel very nice once you're uh, getting in that little sun and get it a little warm up in the afternoon. Midweek warm up, as I mentioned, temperatures responding to a more easterly wind flow. The only thing is that with that easterly wind flow, you might pick up a few clouds out here in the Atlantic and kind of sling them back in this direction as we head into Thursday. So Thursday may not be a picture perfect pristine sky day, but it'll be plenty good when you consider what other folks around the country are going to be experiencing on Thanksgiving. So I'll take a temperature in the 80 with mostly sunny skies, won't you? Temperatures are general, uh, wind speeds rather are generally in the uh, 10 to 15 knot range today. Seas will still be a little bit elevated, but they'll start to subside the second half of the day and toward tomorrow. And then on Thanksgiving, daytime high near 80. Front comes through, cools us off a little teeny tiny bit for the weekend. Back to you, Don. Thank you, John. Taking a look at Suncoast roadways, which have been pretty clear all morning and pretty normal. Volume is picking up, but no accidents or delays in Manatee County, as you see. Main roadways are looking good, 301, 41, and 75. Moving down into Sarasota County, the same is holding true for that. 301, 75, 41, all looking good, as are the arteries out to 75 from the coast. One blip on the screen is in South County in Northport. There is uh, a disabled vehicle of some sort, but it's not causing any problems. It's at, uh, actually, it's at 41, and northbound, there is construction, is construction at Safford Boulevard, but it's, as I said, not causing any problems right now. Now, if you don't have plans to cook this Thanksgiving or you're looking for a place to spend it, we have some restaurant ideas in mind for you. As a few of them are listed here on the screen. In Sarasota, the Table Creekside Restaurant will be open Thanksgiving Day from 11 in the morning till 8 at night. And they're now taking reservations. So, too, is Philby Creek Oyster Bar, which will also be open 11 to 8. So if you're looking for some ideas for not cooking and going out and enjoying, there you go. There's also a couple of freebies being offered. In Englewood, the End Zone Sports Grill is having a free Thanksgiving dinner from noon to 3 o'clock. Anyone is welcome, regardless of finances. Also, the St. David's Jubilee Center at Indian Mound Park in Englewood is offering a free dinner from noon until 2 in the afternoon. Gulf Coast United Methodist Church in Port Charlotte hosting a free dinner with turkey and all the fixings from noon until 3. And there's a neighborhood in Green Bay, Wisconsin that has its own pet turkey. Brittany Schmidt talked to the neighbors who take care of Miss Tony. 
It's said that a dog is man's best friend. But for six-year-old Tennyson Dixon, hanging out with one of his other friends I'm trying to pet it. is turning some heads. I just know that Tennyson's turkey is famous around here. Meet the neighborhood turkey, Miss Tony, who's been raised by humans ever since she was a baby. When it got too big, they took it over to the wildlife sanctuary and let it go. But the turkeys that were over there didn't want anything to do with it, so it left and it showed up in my yard. It really seems to like us. I mean, it uh, definitely raised from a, a hatchling, and uh, and it uh, it definitely bonded on people. She likes to follow me around. You know, I'll, I'll like walk around back and forth from like the driveway to the backyard, and she'll like come around. Sometimes Miss Tony gets a little too close. Typically, I see it on top of my car. Riley took this video the other day. Are you getting in the car? And Miss Tony wouldn't get off the car. And our Action 2 news vehicle was no exception. Like all turkeys, she likes to perch. Although it may be unusual to see a turkey hanging out with humans and some dogs, the neighbors say they welcome it. You know, it makes life a lot nicer. Even if it is so close to Thanksgiving. Are you going to have turkey on Thanksgiving? Yes, but from the store. Still ahead on Good Morning Suncoast, from President-elect to King of Twitter, this weekend we saw both sides of Donald Trump, and later, how Walmart is looking to get ahead of the cyber competition this holiday season. Those stores and more when we come back. Attention blood clot filter patients. Surgically implanted blood clot filters are potentially life-threatening. Some filters are prone to breaking, resulting in pieces of the filter moving through the body and causing internal bleeding. If you had surgery to implant a blood clot filter, you may be entitled to a cash award, even if you haven't suffered side effects yet. Call the Gold Shield Group now, 888-747-5291, to see if you qualify for a cash award, 888-747-5291. Since 1972, Sleep King has provided quality mattresses and accessories at the best discounted prices available. Top brands like Simmons, Sealy, Serta, Beautyrest, iComfort, and more. With available free delivery, free financing, and free setup and removal. For a comfortable night's sleep with same day delivery, even if we have to carry it on our backs. Trust Sleep King of Sarasota. Buy it today, sleep on it tonight. I owed the IRS $10,000. I owed the IRS $20,000. The IRS garnished my wages. They put a lien on my house. The IRS is the most powerful collection agency in the world. They do not give up until you pay. I couldn't sleep. We were being audited. I called Tax Solutions Now, and a great big weight was lifted off my shoulders. I called Tax Solutions Now, and they got the IRS off my back. Tax Solutions Now had my wage garnishment lifted in 48 hours. Tax Solutions Now can get you help. Our agents know the rules, can stop the pain, and get you the best deal. We saved our home and overcame the most powerful collection agency in the world. We connect you with a team of former IRS agents and tax professionals who get the IRS off your back. Time is running out. Call Tax Solutions Now. Call 1-800-565-7740. That's 1-800-565-7740. Today, everyone is looking for carpeting that lasts longer. g Freed has you covered with Karistan. With a legacy of quality and integrity, we provide you with a huge selection of Karistan carpets with exclusive lifetime limited warranties. All installed by our highly skilled, highly knowledgeable team. Come ask us why Karistan is the best and most durable. g Freed Flooring America. Our world is at your feet. Alex Karras Lincoln's holiday sales event is here. Drive a brand new 2017 Lincoln MKC Sports Utility for $269 per month or a 2017 MKZ for $299 per month. We are proud to introduce the newest addition to the Lincoln lineup, the all-new 2017 Lincoln Continental. We have a great selection and ready for immediate delivery. Alex Karras Lincoln, affordable luxury. Winner of the prestigious 2015 President's Award, serving Florida's Sun Coast since 1978. We're located two miles north of the Sarasota Bradenton Airport on US 41. Being the caregiver for my husband is truly a blessing, but sometimes it's easy to lose a part of myself. To be my best, for him and for me, it's important to have time to be able to recharge. When I called Tidewell Hospice, 
They gave me the chance to do just that. They helped me find the time to care for myself, all the while with the peace of mind of knowing my husband is in the very best hands. Tidewell Hospice, it's more than you think. Welcome back. It's 626 here on ABC 7 and coming up on Good Morning America at 7 o'clock. Investigations are underway right now after a wave of violence across the country against police officers. ABC's Kana Whitworth has the details in today's GMA First Look. In this morning's GMA First Look, a manhunt in both San Antonio and St. Louis after police officers are shot, targeted in their patrol vehicles. In San Antonio, a routine traffic stop turning deadly. Detective Benjamin Marconi, a 20 year veteran of the force, stopping a vehicle just outside police headquarters. A man getting out and shooting Detective Marconi twice in the head through the passenger side window. I've got an officer down in front of headquarters. The 50 year old father of two rushed to the hospital where he passed away. And overnight in St. Louis, authorities reporting another ambush. An officer shot twice in the face while still wearing his seatbelt. His weapon holstered. The unidentified married father of three now in critical but stable condition. And we'll have the latest details live from Texas at 7 a.m. With your GMA First Look, I'm Kana Whitworth, ABC News, San Antonio. From the moment a puppy comes into the world, the soul of a wolf is also born. And even as adults, they share an evolutionary connection. That's why there's meat-rich, grain-free, blue wilderness. Because inside your dog lives the soul of a wolf. Before Danny got what he was dreaming about for the holidays. Before his mom earned 1% cash back everywhere, every time. And his dad earned 2% back at grocery stores and wholesale clubs. Even before they earned 3% back on gas, Danny's parents used their Bank AmeriCard Cash Rewards credit card to give him the best day ever. That's the joy of rewarding connections. Learn more at bankofamerica.com slash get cash back. See ya. When you're living with diabetes, Steady is exciting. Oh, this is living, baby. Only Glucerna has carb steady to help minimize blood sugar spikes. And try new Glucerna Hunger Smart to help you feel full. Tonight on ABC 7 News at 7. The priority is to treat these individuals um, as humanely as possible and not incarcerate them. It's called the Comprehensive Treatment Court. The new initiative seeks to break the vicious cycle of imprisonment and get the homeless and mentally ill the help they need. I'm Alan Cohn. We'll speak with those making the idea a reality. Tonight on ABC 7 News at 7, your Suncoast News. We're here for you. Download ABC 7's free all-new news app at your app store today. Why wait until the turkey has you feeling tired? The Black Friday sales event has already started at Sunset Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram in Sarasota. Come shop the area's largest selection of new Jeep Wranglers or check out the stylish new Jeep Renegade starting at just $16,999. Stop by today and drive away in a brand new Jeep Patriot for just $14,999. Better prices, bigger selection. Go to Sunset Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram in Sarasota today. Is your mop a dirty, disgusting mess? You need the Hurricane 360 Spin Mop System, the only mop and bucket that spins the dirt away. A system that cleans practically anything and everything with super absorbent microfiber. Dip it in the washer side and the mess releases into the bucket. Then place it in the dryer side and push on a pedal. You get a clean mop head that's practically dry and ready for more. And your hands will never again touch a dirty, disgusting mop. The heads are washable and reusable. Get the Hurricane 360 Spin Mop System System for just two payments of $19.99. You'll also get a Sticky Buddy, the reusable sticky roller that picks up pet hair and lint and washes clean in seconds. You can take advantage of our two-for-one pick-it-up special and get a second spin mop set. Just pay additional shipping and fee. And we'll upgrade you to free priority handling. So don't wait. Order now. Call 1-800-394-1524 to get your Hurricane Spin Mop double offer. So hurry and call 1-800-394-1524. Call now. The kitchen is where life happens. Minnesota Flooring now offers a wide variety of beautiful quality craft-made cabinetry to make sure the heart of your home reflects your style.
Visit us today at our new kitchen and bath cabinetry locations. Whether a family member needs a little extra help around the house, assistance recovering from a hospital stay, or someone to check in on them throughout the week, Right at Home's in-home care is the answer. Your loved one deserves the right care, and now we need caregivers to help give the right care for the right reasons, the right way. At Right at Home, we're one of the only private home health agencies in this area with the opportunity to earn paid time off. If you're someone who loves helping people, take a look at our website and click on Jobs to join our team today. It's very hard to find somebody that's willing to do this profession, this job, because of the very thing that we saw today. Coming up on Good Morning Suncoast, police ambush. At least two officers are gunned down in cities across the nation. How a manhunt is underway to find those responsible. His promises are as worthless as a degree from Trump University. And why a popular magazine is giving, well, we'll tell you what's going to happen with Donald Trump and some of his cabinet choices. Plus, a popular magazine is giving Northport some national attention. Live from the ABC7 studios, this is Good Morning Suncoast. We're here for you. Welcome back. I'm Don Brennan, along with John Scalzi. Stephanie Roberts is off today, but uh, the weather is not off. The weather is right on this morning. Nice and chilly. Wake you up. Get a little pep in your step. A little definitely frisky chilly. weather. Yeah, definitely <laughs> chilly. No doubt about it. Uh, folks are going to probably want to wear a light jacket or a sweater as they head out the door. Some folks will, certainly. And uh, then you'll be able to, I think, lose that as you head into the afternoon. And we warm up nicely. But uh, indeed, we have even some freezing temperatures in Florida at <laughs> this hour. North of us, well north of us, but still we have a lot of mid 40s around here this morning, so some chilly, chilly weather. At the airport, it's 50 degrees with a dew point of 28. That's as low as it gets in Florida, that 28 degree dew point, making it feel kind of chilly out there. We'll warm nicely, though, up into the upper 60s to near 70. Complete forecast in a minute, Don. All right, thanks a lot, John. Taking a look at Suncoast Roadways. 633, everything is moving along. Volume is picking up. You see on the Green Bridge coming from Palmetto into Bradenton, coming south on the Green Bridge, and also north on 301 as you get to State Road 70. So approaching State Road 70 from the south, headed northbound, things are starting to pick up, but no accidents or delays anywhere on the Sun Coast. Sarasota County looking good too at this time in the morning. So keep it up. Our top story this morning, a manhunt is underway in San Antonio, Texas, for a person who shot and killed a detective while he was writing a traffic ticket. The shooting happened late yesterday morning, and police say 50-year-old Detective Benjamin Marconi had pulled over a car for a traffic violation, and while he was inside his squad car writing a ticket, another vehicle, a black vehicle, pulled up behind him and came to his window and shot him twice, including one time in the head. The shooter then drove off. Marconi was pronounced dead yesterday afternoon at the hospital. He was a 20-year veteran of the police force. Most families will be celebrating the holidays. SAPD will be burying one of its own because of an ultimate act of cowardice by a suspect who will be caught and brought to justice. Police there have released a picture of the suspected gunman and also the black vehicle in which he was alleged to be driving. It's described as a black Toyota or Nissan sedan, and police say they do not know if there was a connection between the car Marconi stopped and the shooter. Another manhunt taking place in St. Louis after a police sergeant was shot while sitting in his marked car. It happened about 7.30 last night, and authorities say the officer was not involved in a call or a traffic stop. Instead, he was just sitting in traffic when another car pulled up alongside his police vehicle and fired at least two shots in his face. He is expected to survive and is able to speak. The police chief is calling the shooting an ambush. This officer was not involved in a traffic stop. This officer was not trying to pull this car over. This officer was driving down the road. This tells you how dangerous of a job it is and tells you how much we have to appreciate our police officers. We have to understand the difficulties that they go through, the, the sacrifices that they undertake to protect us and to protect our neighborhoods. The suspect got away and police are now looking for a silver car the suspect may have driven and any surveillance video that may have captured the shooting. Here in Florida, an arrest has been made in the shooting of another police officer, this time in Sanibel Island, Florida. The shooting happened last night on Sanibel Island. And that's in Lee County, just south of us. Police say Officer Jared Sacconi was conducting a routine traffic stop when the suspect shot him in a drive-by shooting. He fled the scene but was later located and arrested. 
Ciccone was taken to Lee Memorial Hospital and was treated and thankfully released. In other news, new developments this morning in the Dakota Pipeline oil protest. About 400 protesters have been clashing with law enforcement over a pipeline project that's being built on what many are considering a sacred Indian cultural site. At least one person was arrested this past weekend. There are also reports that officers used a water cannon and tear gas to try and stop protesters from crossing a bridge even in freezing weather. The pipeline projected has been protested for months by the Standing Rock Sioux tribe who fear a leak could contaminate their drinking water and threaten sacred sites. And happening today in the White House, President-elect Donald Trump will be hosting another round of marathon meetings as he works to assemble his cabinet and administration. He's already announced five picks and promises to reveal more soon. Trump has lined up more than 20 meetings in the past two days alone. On Sunday, he tweeted General James Mad Dog Mathis, a contender for Secretary of Defense, was very impressive. But there's ongoing backlash over the five positions already filled. One is National Security Advisor Lieutenant General Michael Flynn, who called Islam a cancer. In line with how President-elect Trump views Islam. Well, I think so. I mean, look, uh, phrasing can always be done differently, but clearly there are some aspects of that faith that are problematic. Also meeting with Trump this weekend, former New York Mayor Rudy Giuliani, New Jersey Governor Chris Christie, and former presidential candidate Mitt Romney. And new this morning, the oldest surviving member of the original Tuskegee Airmen has passed away. Willie Rogers died this past Friday from complications of a stroke. He was 101 years old. Rogers was drafted into the Army in 1942 and was part of the original 100th Fighter Squadron in World War II. He also served with the Red Tail Angels. In 2007, he was awarded the Congressional Gold Medal by President George W. Bush. Rogers died in St. Petersburg, where he lived for the past 50 years. In consumer news, you can get your tech holiday shopping done a little earlier at Walmart this year. The store is kicking off its Cyber Monday deals two days earlier than last year. They'll start at 12.01 this Friday, 12.01 a.m., that is. Last year, it pulled up the deals to the Sunday evening after Thanksgiving, and Walmart hopes to compete with online leader Amazon for customers and to keep pace with shoppers eager for cyber deals. And the city of Punta Gorda is getting a new and improved Publix. The Publix will be at a colonial burnt store promenade closed down in September. It will be rebuilt into a 45,000 square foot shopping square. The store was giving handouts to customers and telling them the store was closed permanently, but this is not true. The new store will reopen next May. And new this morning, the city of Northport receiving some national attention from Forbes magazine. Northport is being listed as one of the best cities in the U.S. for job growth. Forbes ranks its number, ranks at number 10 with a 3.6% population growth each year. The magazine considers Northport as a metro community, which also includes Sarasota and Bradenton. Other Florida cities that made the list, Naples, and then Myrtle Beach, South Carolina made it, and Cape Coral from Florida, and Orlando also. Orlando. I don't know if there's much room for growth in Orlando. It's pretty jam-packed. A lot of traffic in Orlando. A lot of growth for Northport, though. A lot of room for yeah. growth, and they've grown leaps and bounds in just the past 15 years. Yes, indeed. And uh, it's a beautiful community. Yes. Absolutely beautiful. I know we did a lot of our, uh, our live shots from there last year, and uh, just lovely. We have across our region some chilly temperatures in place, but those will warm nicely as we head into the afternoon. Details on a moment. Hurricane season is here. Are you prepared? ABC7 has the information you need. Access our special Surviving a Hurricane now. Access our special on our ABC7 app and all our live streaming platforms. Apple TV, Amazon Fire TV, and Roku. This is a special health alert for seniors suffering with joint pain. If you have Medicare insurance, you may qualify for high quality support braces at little or no cost. I'm thrilled with my knee braces. Now, there is a simple and proven solution for seniors to get out of pain with state-of-the-art support braces. I barely feel any pain at all. Braces for your knees and back, as well as your shoulders and ankles, too. I'm so happy with the quality of these braces. 
Call now, and you could qualify for a pain-relieving brace at little or no cost. I can play ball again, and it doesn't hurt. And because of my Medicare coverage, it costs me next to nothing. So call now. And because I have this red, white, and blue Medicare card, my braces have cost me just about nothing. It's true. You may get a knee, back, shoulder, and ankle brace at little or no cost. They qualified me for two knee braces and a back brace. If you have knee or back pain, give them a call. They can help. 1-800-476-8967. 1-800-476-8967. They took that stress and that tension when I was particularly feeling very bad <laughs> after that nasty car accident, and it was such a relief to know that I didn't have to bear that burden alone, that I had help. Our goal is to not just get a, a satisfactory settlement on their case. We want them up on their feet, happy again. They've gotten their life back. They're coming from Tampa, Fort Myers, even Orlando. They're coming from everywhere for the Sarasota Ford Promise. We promise we're more than a dealership. We're a destination with a movie theater, massage room, aquarium, cafe, and more. We promise to give you top dollar for your trade, even if you don't buy from us. And if you do, we promise you the best deal. Bring us any competitor's ad and we'll beat it by at least $1,000. That's why they're coming from everywhere to Sarasota Ford, where 41 meets 301. SarasotaFord.com. Is your old garage door stuck or broken? Would a new one give you a lift? Let Precision Door Overhead Garage Door Service of Sarasota come to the rescue with prompt and affordable repair service. Replacement doors come with an array of styles and colors, and they are rated to meet and exceed Florida standards. From estimates to installation, your satisfaction is our priority. If you're not 100% satisfied with any product, service, or installation, we will make it right, because Precision Door Service is a name you can trust. Now, the official Sun Coast weather with ABC7 meteorologist John Scalzi. So we are looking at conditions out there that are very pleasant indeed. A 50 degree air temperature, a dew point of 28. It's uh, cool, it's crisp, it's uh, refreshing, right? Yeah, well, if you're not a cold weather lover, don't worry about it because there are some warmer temperatures coming our way. But even so, 50 is not bad, considering that an hour and a half drive north, temperatures are freezing. So we're doing all right around here. But 42 degrees in Wachula, 41 degrees, Mayaka City, 41, Becky and Mayaka, 44 in Northport, 41 in Parrish, 41 in Bradenton, 43, Lakewood Ranch. And along the coastline, temperatures are closer to the 50 mark. Becky and Old Mayaka is going to report in this morning, no doubt, with temperatures in the 30s, and she's not going to be happy about it because she likes warm temperatures. Well, hang in there, Becky, because with the dry air in place, we'll see some warming take place throughout the day today, pretty quickly, actually. Cold, uh, cold uh, temperatures are generally associated with dry air, but that dry air warms nicely with the influence of a little bit of sun and some lesser wind speeds. We'll see lesser wind speeds today as well. We had some pretty good gusts over the weekend, some 20... 25 mile an hour gusts across our area beaches. Well, today we'll see nothing like that. Quiet, dry conditions across the Sun Coast, deep south, over toward the open plains, Texas, northern tier, all dry as a bone this morning because of this big ridge of high pressure that is built in. Still some rain showers and snow showers in the northeast, though some cold air being drawn in over the Great Lakes, producing some lake effect snow belt totals that could exceed a foot today. And then back to the west, maybe six inches of snow as a low pressure area ejects out of the Rockies and brings the western sections of the Rockies, just west of uh, Denver, some pretty impressive rate snowfall amounts over the next day or two. Now, by the day before Thanksgiving, by Wednesday, we'll start to see a line of showers develop that stretch all the way into the Ohio Valley. So if you're traveling to that direction, there could be some airport delays on Wednesday due to some fairly heavy rainfall that extends from Texas on up through the Ohio Valley. Then snow showers in the western Great Lakes. For us, high pressure shifting to accommodate that front means an easterly wind flow, and that spells a warm-up as we head into midweek. So cool, sunny today, less wind around, making even the afternoon temperatures in the upper 60s feel more comfortable, and then a genuine warm-up by late midweek to late week as we uh, see our wind shift and our temperatures start to rise into the near 80-degree range. 
This afternoon, wind speeds at about 15 to 10 to 15 will bring you two to three foot seas and a light chop on Bay and Inland waters. And around Turkey Day, we'll top it out at about 80. Then over the next couple of days, a series of fronts move through, lowering our temperatures a little bit as we head into the weekend. Don? Thank you, John. Taking a look at Suncoast Roadways, everything was looking good. Now we have our first action in the morning. It's at 26th Street in Bradenton and 55th Avenue. That is to the west of 41, so be aware of that. And also, well, everything else is looking good. About normal volume for this time of the morning. You're heading into Sarasota. That is looking real good. Not a lot of volume at this time of the morning. But uh, do remember that a lot of people have already left for Thanksgiving holidays. And some of the schools are out. So drive carefully with kids out on vacation. In health news, a voluntary recall is in place for a popular hummus product. Sabra Dipping Company has issued the recall because of possible listeria contamination in some of its products. The hummus in question was manufactured before November 8th at a plant where listeria has been found. So far, no contamination has been found in any of the products. Consumers are urged to discard or return any products with the dates that say best before January 23rd, 2017. And heart disease has been the top killer in the U.S. for years, but now a new health issue is poised to take the top spot. A new CDC report showing the health threat that might be taking the place of heart disease as the nation's leading cause of death is cancer. Researchers looked at death trends between 1969 and 2014. They found in a growing number of states that cancer is now the top killer. They predict cancer will be the number one killer in the U.S. by 2020. And across the pond, a British teen who died of cancer has been cryogenically frozen in the U.S. after winning a court case before her death. The girl, who cannot be identified, suffered from a rare form of cancer she wrote to the judge that she wanted the chance to live again if a cure for her cancer is found and expressed a hope to be brought back to life and cured in the future. I'm only 14 years old and I don't want to die, but I know I'm going to. I think being cryopreserved gives me a chance to be cured and woken up even in hundreds of years' time. I think that in the future they might find a cure for my cancer and wake me up. I want to have this chance. This is my wish. The judge made clear he was not ruling on the science of cryonics, but rather on the dispute between her parents over who was responsible for the arrangements after her death. In entertainment news, President-elect Donald Trump wants the Hamilton cast to apologize to his running mate, Mike Pence. Trump is tweeting that the cast harassed his vice president-elect during a show in New York on Friday. The tweet also says the actors were very rude to Pence and they should issue an apology. The cast spoke to Pence from the stage at the end of the musical that focuses on founding father Alexander Hamilton. The cast member who plays Aaron Burr later replied to Trump's tweet saying that what happened at the theater was a conversation, not a harassment. And days after telling fans that he would have voted for Donald Trump, Kanye West had another rant this past weekend, this time about Beyonce and Jay-Z. A concert goer captured the video. In it, West tells the audience he heard Beyonce refuse to perform at the MTV Video Music Awards unless she won Video of the Year over him. And he also urged her husband, Jay-Z, to call him. West added he was putting his life and career at risk by talking to the fans like that. And the concert in California was cut short as a result. It was a magical matchup at the box office this weekend as the Harry Potter spin-off Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them easily found first place in the opening weekend. The prequel earned as an estimated $75 million, making Doctor Strange disappear into second place with nearly $18 million. The animated film Trolls, starring Anna Kendrick, came in third. And an American icon is marking his 40th anniversary. November 21st, 1976, movie audiences met South Philly boxer Rocky Balboa for the first time. Four decades later, the lovable loser turned heavyweight champion still resonates with fans. Rocky was made on a budget of only $1 million, but it went on to make more than $225 million worldwide. The film also won three Oscars, including Best Picture, and made a megastar out of Sylvester Stallone, who wrote the... Rocky Trilogy or whatever at this point. Up next on Good Morning Suncoast, a couple celebrates a very special wedding anniversary at the same place they had their very first date. The advice they gave for having a, a long union. We'll tell you about it coming up.
Google GoWildHonda.com. Lease a CRV for $219 during Wild's final clearance. Just $219 and zero down. Now at GoWildHonda.com or visit Wild Honda Sarasota. It's gotta be wild. Here's something we bet you didn't know. Nearly half of all cancers can be prevented. That's right, half, nearly 50%, mostly by making small everyday changes in your diet and controlling your weight, walking more, eating less, and eating foods that help you and your family to seriously reduce the risk of cancer. And of course, by not smoking. Visit the Cancer Prevention Together We Can website and get a free 30-day planner filled with tips, recipes, stats, and more about protecting your family. Go to prevent50.org. On air, online, and on your mobile device. This hurricane season, turn to the official Suncoast Storm Team at ABC7. We're here for you. Christmas Traditions by LuxArt Silks, where more is merrier. Make your holidays sparkle with style. Browse our amazing showroom, cute collectible cottages, and beautiful Christmas displays. Find the inspiration, selection, and quality you need to deck the halls merry and bright. Christmas Traditions also features the area's largest selection of quality pre-lit Christmas trees. Every size, shape, and color, and plenty of decorations to make your home shine for the holidays. Christmas Traditions by LuxArt Silks, where more is merrier. Visit us on New 301, just a quarter mile north of University Parkway. You only have one life. Are you gambling with it? One in three adults have high blood pressure. Not knowing your numbers could cause you to lose big time. Luckily, you can turn the odds in your favor by getting your blood pressure checked today. Don't leave your health to chance. Learn more at heart.org hpb. I knew I could get myself out of this. I just needed some hope and some help. I took the first step to recovery when I made the call. If you're depressed, drinking, and using drugs, you may need help. And the Affordable Care Act guarantees coverage of substance abuse. Call the Addiction Hope and Helpline now for a free assessment. I had problems just getting to sleep, drinking, and using pills every night. I feel like I'm losing control. I'm afraid I'll lose my job or even my family. Are you losing hope? You can recover and get back on track. Call now for hope and help with proven gentle recovery programs. I never thought that I could be somebody who didn't drink and use drugs. I have something to hold on to for strength. I'm in recovery, getting the help I need. Call the Addiction Hope and Helpline now for a free assessment with someone who cares. Call 1-800-764-8708. That's 1-800-764-8708. Rich finishes, beautiful colors, and over a thousand different fabrics and leathers to choose from. With Bassett Custom Furniture at Bacon's Furniture and Bedding. Get a quality built Bassett Queen Sleeper with your choice of Inner Spring, Gel, or Air Dream mattress. Starting at only $9.99. Come in today and we'll guarantee your Bassett Custom Furniture will be shipped before the holidays. With our complimentary design service, start designing, start loving. Only at Bacon's Furniture and Bedding in Port Charlotte. Nobody beats Bacon's. For your plumbing, electrical, or air conditioning, and services is qualified, and service calls are free, and services.com, A-N-D, services.com. Google GoWildHonda.com. Lease a Civic for $179 during Wild's final clearance. Just $179 and zero down. Now at GoWildHonda.com, or visit Wild Honda Sarasota. It's gotta be wild. All right, taking a last look before we hand you over to Good Morning America. Traffic and just uh, the only issue this morning has been in Bradenton. That's at 26th Street, an accident at 55th Avenue just west of 41. Other than that, everything is clear sailing and normal volume for this time of the morning. John? Well, it is chilly out there, no doubt about it. Many places in the 40s. Becky and Old Mayaka reporting in with temperatures in the lower 30s as well. Wow. Of course, she's always a little bit cooler there. We'll warm nicely to about 70, and then as we head into Thanksgiving, warm further into the 10 degrees till we get to about 80. A series of fronts will keep our temperatures in the mid-70s over the weekend. Thanks, John. We end on a romance, a true romance, a Seattle couple celebrating their 73rd wedding anniversary. Ray and Mavis Fanouf revisited a restaurant where they had their first date over 60 years ago. Ray was stationed in Seattle during World War II when a shipmate introduced him to Mavis. And he said, well, do you want to date Mavis? 
Well, I was all by myself out here, you know, I'm a small ship, and uh, so yeah, I'll have a date. <laughs> and uh, I've been dated to her ever since. <laughs> Ray married up in many ways. He's 94, Mavis 96, and Ray says the key to a long marriage is just finding the right girl, while Mavis says it's all about patience. And I'm just as surprised <laughs> that the restaurant's still open because restaurants come That's and go. Thinking that too. Yes, indeed. Well, everybody have a great day. Good Morning America is coming up next.